dating coach for men and today I have one of the instructors on my team Johnny Johnny what are we going to be talking about today we're gonna to be talking about a few little openers we can use within day game in a store um, I've had students that have run out of things to say well not even say run out of things to say just had nothing to say Like, oh I think it's different because it's in a shopping center mm -hmm. or in HMV or whatever um, so I've come up with a few on-the-spot openers that I naturally created in the field of the students. And I'm here today to share them with you. Brilliant, because this is a question that we get a lot, is how do, you, how do, we talk to, how do men talk to beautiful women that they see in, in shops and clothes shops and bookstores? So great, let's go. Well, the first one, and this, is, this goes against what you said, actually, that I once, you once said that... Um, Forget about approaching girls in a shoe store because their mind's just so concentrated on shoes, they, you will not get near them. In my experience, when I'm out shoe shopping, I am just focused on the shoes. But why don't you uh, give me a demonstration then of what you do? Right, okay. So say you're just, you're just transfixed to the shoes over there. And I'll just spot a ridiculous looking shoe, like probably the one that's got all the sparkles on it and everything. <laughs> And pick shoes. Okay. I'm going to literally say, oh my God, those are the ones right there. <laughs> oh my God, look at these. And I'm just going to wait for your reaction. You're going to mix feelings. immediately I was laughing. Yeah, okay, well that's the, you know, that's the first reaction you're going to get. If she laughs, great. You're in there and go, I'm joking. It's Johnny, by the way. Hi, <laughs> kids, yeah. And then you want to switch it to show your intent. Look, I didn't know what the hell to say. So I just made that up to come and see if there's anything more about you. Okay, that's a brilliant one. I have to admit, that's a really good one. My, my first um, reaction was to laugh. I just thought it was really, really funny. Um, I knew you were playing around, but at the same time I thought, oh, maybe he's gay. You know, you're not sure. So. Well, here's the beautiful thing. If they actually, if you think that, you can play on that idea. You, you may be like, um, what? I don't really get it. You can go, well, you know what? I'm just trying to piece together like the last remaining items of my outfit for my job in the weekend. <laughs> So you kind of paint this beautiful picture that you're some mad cross-dressing character, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and that's quite a universal one as well. You could just use, take the principle of, oh, wow, there they are. You could go into, you know, the, where all the dresses are or where, where, <laughs> go into the Senza and, you know, go into the underwear mm -hmm. department. So, yeah, that works across the board. Great, it's a really good one. Another one you can use is what I like to call the shopping assistant opener. So you could just spot a girl that you like anywhere in a store. Um, I'm picturing as I'm saying this, probably HMV. Mm -hmm. So she's- HMV is a, a huge record store, by the way. Lots of DVDs and CDs and so on. So any sort of media store. Mm -hmm. You can go in there, um, pick up a CD and go, Excuse me, do, do you have like their older album of this? And what you're doing is like you're assuming that they work there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you're going to have that split second to see if there's any sort of reaction from her. I go, you don't even work here, do you? Oh my God, I feel so embarrassed now. Kind of like make, make a bit of a it's, situation. Yeah, it's a mistake that actually a lot of people do naturally, yeah. anyhow. Well, this is the thing. It actually happened to me. I, w I was in one of these media stores and I was just wearing you know, like a black t-shirt and jeans, and someone assumed I worked there. So I thought, what a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. I'll turn that around and use it in my favor next time. How do you transition from there though? What if she just turns around and says, oh, no, I don't work here? Just go, look, I know I'm being ridiculous. It's Johnny okay. by the way. You just so have to- you, So what you do, it's quite interesting, is you let them know that it was just a pickup line. Pretty much. That's it's, pretty cool, yeah. It's, it goes back to a principle that we teach is if you're going in direct, at some point you need to show your intent. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing there. Okay. All right. So then. there it is. And then from there, you can just go into the nine hook lean system, get some information, seal the deal. Again, back to the, uh, the cross-dressing principle of opening. We could, um, 
literally pick up two items of clothing and use that as an opinion opener. Mm -hmm. So you go, excuse me, um, which one do you think? This one or this one? Wait for a reaction. And she's got mixed, mixed feelings. She's like, well, what's, what, is he thinking that that's for him or is he buying it for someone else? And then, but what you do, you understand that and you call her out on it going, it's not for me, silly. Jesus, what are you thinking? Get out of here. And then switch, show your intent. Or you can actually get to top, you can take it even further, the whole cross-dressing thing and say, do you think that this one or this one suits my eyes? You can say mm -hmm. that. Yeah, okay, pretty good. I like them. I mean, you do go out with um, all our seven-day course students and you do a lot of day game with them. So um, that's the thing about Johnny. Johnny is out all the time um, in these shops, bookstores, um, clothes stores in the street and he's constantly gaming because he's got so many students and so it seems like that you just learn something new all the time when you're out well here's you're putting things into practice you're finding what doesn't work and you keep perfecting it here's the thing you know I was never really one to do day game until I started working with you mm -hmm. and I most started people, they just do night game yeah that was me you know I'm more night night game orientated but when I started working with you I was pushing myself to get out there and do a bit more day game mm -hmm. to teach the students. And when I'm out of the students, you know, I'm just learning like new things all the time. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking on the spot and seeing what's working and seeing what isn't. And um, you know, these techniques we've just shared with you in these videos, these work. You know, I've, I've gave students these techniques on the spot and I've gained instant results. So when you finish watching this video, get out there and use them. Okay, Johnny, thanks very much uh, for sharing all that with us and you can meet Johnny on our boot camps and of course our seven day mastery course. Check out the blog on my website www.kezia-noble.com for more blogs from myself, my team and of course Johnny. Take care.